to do how to do your splits. Split edition. Let's get started. Okay. So what you want to do first is go ahead and stand on your knees and put one leg forward. And then bend. Make sure that this is straight down and that your foot is facing forward. And make sure your hips are facing forward too. And then push, make sure you're pushing your hips down. Hold this for about 30 seconds. Then the next one, go back to straight and then keep your hips square. Just go straight down. Put your arms. Try to get your hands past your foot. Stretches the hamstring muscle. Oh, this one stretches your hip. This one stretches your hamstring. Those are the two elements of a split. <laughs> and then go ahead and keep your legs square. Nice, go back. Keep your legs square. Hip square, and then slide down. And of course you won't get it on your first try, but after a lot of practice you'll get it. And then from here make sure your hips are square. And then to help you get your hips square, you can put, if you're facing this way, put this arm back, this arm forward. So your twist. And then you can go down and start rocking to get your hip all stretched out. And then you can go back. Then if you're working a switch ring, you can bend your leg or just hold it. And then you can go like this and press it down. The next split is a little harder. It's the middle split. So it's combining both your legs so you don't have a good leg or a bad leg. It's just both of them. And this one stretches this muscle right here. So it's different. This, this normal split stretches right here, and then back here, this, this one stretches here, and then a little bit right there. So, the first thing you want to do is um, <laughs> a stretch that you can do is, it's basically a middle split with both legs bent. So this is a middle split. You just bend. We call it frog split. Then you hold this for a while. Try and push yourself down. And then you can straighten one leg. And then the other leg. And then both. And this, of course, is the hardest split. It will take you a while to get this one. But don't give up and keep practicing, and eventually you'll get it. And then, if you think you really got it, you can try and keep it like this. So there's a straight line. And if you're at your gym and you have like those different panels on the floor, um, you can like go on one of the panels so you can tell if you're straight or not. That's what we do sometimes. Oh, if you're out of your house, just go as straight as you can. But as you can see, I'm pushing as far forward as I can. I'm in a straight line. So, yeah. And then next, I'm going to show you the over split. Now for over splits, over means like a flat split, you elevate it more so it's like over a split. It's like a 
Not a split, it's over split. So at the gym we normally use panel mats or like blocks, but this is kitchen gymnastics, so you know I have to use pots. I'm gonna start with the easy one, get a little bit stretched out, then I'll move to the big the big one. Big pot. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do, since this is a little harder, you're going to put your foot on, then slowly go out. And it's okay if you don't go all the way down. You sort of want to like hold this for like 10 seconds, then slowly go down. Then maybe keep your hands on if it really hurts. And then eventually if you've gotten used to it, you can put your hands here and then go down and then hold this or you can rock. And then you can go like that and just really stretch it out. And over splits are really good for your splits. They'll make your regular splits really easy. So if you have your over split, you Got it. Good. Now I'm going to move on to the big pot. And again, I'm slowly going in so I don't pull a muscle. Because if you just go bang right in, you could pull your hamstring. Slowly go and keep your hips square again. You can go like that. That. Hmm. up. So, this takes a lot of practice to get just the decent over split. But once you've gotten really flexible, I think my highest over split I've ever done that was all the way down is probably like right there. I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty high. This. <laughs> And then there you have down in the heel. My over over split <laughs> that I've worked on for a long time. <laughs> and then this of course hurts me a little bit. <laughs> but I can still do it. Now if you don't have a pot or a panel mat, you can always do it yourself. Hold your like Achilles and then go up on your elbows. <laughs> You're holding it by yourself. See? After you've perfected your splits, you can do them upside down. Thank you for joining me at this episode of Kitchen Gymnastics.